So, seems like I'm never going to get my truck at this rate. What I initially read is they were going to stop production on the F-150 for a minute. I got an F-250. Here, you can take a look real quick at my build. If you haven't been following along, <coughs> um, did the F-250 King Ranch trimmer uh, with the Power Stroke. Interesting enough, when I built mine, I want to say it spec'd out at like 90 or close to 90. So... I, I can't even find all the options that I picked. I'd have to go back through my order sheet. One part of that was the winch, which that, that's no longer an option, at least for, for my zip code. So that's gone. And there's got to be one or two other things that are gone. So I can't even get those options. I knocked 5,000 worth of the options off. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was the bed cover. You know what? I don't remember seeing the bed cover, in fact. All the extra, like, options, I don't think it's even listed anymore when you build it. So I'm curious to see. I don't need the bed cover from Ford anyways. It's just convenient. You can get the X-Tang or whatever. The, the, they're in Ann Arbor here. Great product. Great customer service. But they're having issues even just getting the extra specs on here. I know on my BMW X5, I have, what's it, the BMW B and W audio upgrade or whatever it is. That's not even listed on the BMW website anymore. You can't even you can't even give BMW the extra three, four, five thousand dollars for the the stereo upgrade um, because of all the electronics sh chip shortage. So that's it's crazy to me that this is where we're at right now. It's not getting better. It's it's getting worse. I uh, I ordered this truck back in September, and there's no word. I hit, hit the dealer up. No word. No build date, nothing. Um, I got the order sheet from Ford Corporate confirming the order. But, you know, we're five months in and nothing. So maybe I'll get this thing by spring. We'll see. But when I saw that we're going back to another production shutdown, I just... If you haven't noticed, things are getting worse and worse. The news seems to say it's getting better, but I would like to know where. I'm having trouble getting certain foods at the grocery store still. That's getting worse. I have uh, I have a couple different studios I use for my music production and my podcast. And I needed, I needed some audio equipment. I've been waiting on an interface from RME for months. And it just says backordered. Because they can't get the chips. And this isn't cheap stuff. You know, it's a stu studio grade, you know, three, four thousand dollar audio interfaces. It's not like the whole world's out there buying these things right now. But you can't get one. Like, interfaces are just about sold out. Unless you're, like, the super high-end, like, you know, Hollywood-type audio interfaces or the dirt cheap, you know, Scarlet Focus, right, types. I'm like, when am I ever going to get this stuff? It's like, uh, I, I think I ordered a bike I don't know how long ago. It might come this year. Put that in quotes. And it's like, I don't know where we're going right now. Things just don't seem to be getting better. And... You know, I watch, you know, oil prices are going up. I just saw again. I don't know where we're going, man. I, uh, I'm kind of like, you know, revamping the car line right now. I got this on order to swap out my 2018 GMC Denali Duramax. <clears throat> um, so I wanted to get, pick up a new truck because I'm getting, you know, I got so many check engine lights on the GMC. It's They were good to me for years. They've not been so good to me. This truck has not been that good to me. And I'm sure this Ford is going to be just as much of a headache, but at least it's new. And then I was going to swap out my Camaro Z01 track car. I put an order in for a, a Porsche 911 Ford GTS. I might, based on allocation numbers, I might get that Porsche, which is, you know, they're tough to get. I might get the Porsche before this damn truck comes in. And, uh, and then I ordered one of those uh, Hummer EVs. That, you know, maybe that comes next year and I'll keep that at, at a different piece of property. That, you know, it's plugged in, it's charged, you don't got to screw with it. But uh, it's, can you get anything? You drive by car lots and they're full of cars you don't want to buy. And anything you do want to buy, you got to order and wait a year. And like, well, welcome to 2022, I guess. It, it just doesn't seem like this is going to end. And they talked about, you know... I don't know, fall, that we, maybe we'd start to see some of the supply chain pressure start to ease in Q1, Q2, but if it's that bad now, you don't fix supply chain issues. If you're looking at production planning schedules, 
you don't fix those in 30 days. <laughs> it's not how it works. So maybe it works that way if you're manufacturing ketchup, right? Not when it comes to like vehicles, for example. I don't know how we even get out of this mess now. Like I'm not, I'm not looking like how deep in the 2023 does does this go between you know commodity shortages, worker shortages, will the, the rise in interest rates slow down the procurement of items, and if we stop our consumption or or slow our consumption, will it ease the supply chain? I don't know, man. But uh, here we go again. Ford's going back to kind of shutting down. You know, you can't even blame Omicron anymore. It's on its way down. Like if you had noticed, traffic's been getting busier and busier every day. When Omicron hit, there was less people going in the office. A lot of people were sick. This is the most traffic I've seen on the, in the morning at rush hour since before Christmas. So we're getting back moving again. It just if you can't get components, you're screwed. So when BM, BMW can't sell you the upgraded stereo for $4,000, <laughs> there's a problem. Because they want to sell you the upgraded stereo. There's, there's margin in that. When it's not even an option anymore, that's a problem. It's uh, when I can't even get the extra items on my Ford truck to add up to $5,000, you know, maybe 5 to 7% of the total sales price and options I want to add. If I can't get those, that's margin. Uh, or dealer accessories. It's crazy times we're living in. So if you have a car on order or a truck from Ford or anybody else, what'd you order? And how long have you been waiting? Like, when do you hope to get it? I got a buddy that, uh, you know, is a executive at a company. And he ordered some of those Ford Transit vans some sometime last year. And they said they might he might get them this year. And they weren't joking. And so I know part of this production slowdown was also those Transit vans. So you can't even get the Transit vans. You get, what can you get right now other than cars you don't want? Crazy times we're living in. Seems like it's going to get worse. But anyways, if you are waiting on a car or a truck, what is it? Drop a comment. I'd be curious to see.